Hey everyone. Well, <clears throat> let's just call this the start of episode seven, huh? Um, the beginning of this footage you're gonna see last week. It was right here was four to five inches of snow. Um, we came back. I got a couple hours before work. Look at this beauty. It's a it's either a hay hook or a mead hook or it's hand forged. That thing is cool. That thing is so cool. <laughs> anyway, um we're going to try to get one more video in here before the snow flies. It's September 12th. Um and I got to work tonight, but we got a couple hours. Let's find some goodies. All right. Yeah, what you're seeing is real. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be 80 tomorrow, but we got, we're way up top and got pretty good dusting. Um, check this out. It's a horse bit. I love these things. It's still hinged and working. Pretty darn cool. I just got here. I don't know. This is that place, that little town where I found the doll head. And it's been pretty hammered. But we thought we'd come out for a couple hours. So anyway, moving on. Well, there's that cabin where I found the horse bit. I was just coming over here checking this hillside. It's f f steep. Look at this. It's absolutely beautiful. Let me get it in the sun. The snow makes it a little difficult, but you know what? Where were you? Right all up there. Look at how gorgeous that fork is. I can't see anything on it right now, really. Um, You probably have a better idea of what's going on than I do. How cool, huh? It's going to have a maker's mark, I'm pretty sure, so we can find out where it came from. Wow. Love it. Let's find some more. I'm just coming up along this trail and swung down by this big log in these firs in the roots and look at that piece of horse tack i've never seen one like that before but it's kind of cool oh you know what that might be part of that horse bit the other side of it i'll be darned well that would be kind of cool if i could put that back together sweet all right, let's go find some, oh, let's say, suspender clips. I'm back. I'm just walking up this trail by the creek, and look at this. I think it's a tie clasp. <laughs> oh, cool. It looks like a tie clasp. How neat is that? That just made my whole day right there. Totally. Yeah, it clipped right on the tie. Hopefully it's got something on it, but I don't think so. It looks pretty plain. It was probably copper. Is there something on the end there? Star or something? Can't tell. How beautiful is that? 
1800s jewelry. So cool. All right, let's find some more goodies here. Well, there's the cabin. I'm walking up the trail. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm underneath this tree, and I just landed this. And it's very heavy. And it almost looks like an old button. Might have a back mark. Um... Wow, that's pretty cool. It's heavy. Solid brass. Um, I guess we'll find out. Looks like a square nail? I don't know. Lost the shank or the shank got pushed through or... Hell, it could be the top to a shell casing for all I know, but... Um, it kind of looks like a button. It feels like a button. Anyway... Let's go get some good stuff. Hey everyone. Well, I'm back. What a difference a few days makes, huh? Um, if you recall, there was like four inches of snow in here. Now it's 80 degrees and beautiful. So I just popped a something. It's, I don't know what it is. It lo looks like some kind of snap or something, but I just basically pulled this up to show you the um, weather conditions beautiful all right well I'm walking the trail that other cabins just down below me there heading out in this field where I found that tie clip and the suspender clip look at this clock I got most of it but it's pretty shot Old clock. <laughs> Still got the gears in her. Amazing, huh? Pretty cool stuff. All right, let's go find some treasure. Check this out. This is a weird one. It's a top to a wood stove. A burner plate, but it's got hearts in it. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's a keeper. That's a keeper. You don't see that very often. Huh. Dig them all. Dig all them signals. You never know what you're going to find. Okay, moving on. Well, I'm kind of under this tree right in front of me here. Look at this beauty. That is a total 1800 suspender clip. I'm going to have to put it back together, but I can't see what's on it. Um, maybe you can. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that thing. Is that a crown, or I can't tell right now? Oh, man, that's got me excited. So cool. Wow. I just love this stuff. It's I'm trying to stay in the dry patches because this is supposed to melt off in the next two days. We're back in the 80s. It's only 50 today. We went from... 89 or 90 degrees to 27. Um, if you can believe that. We lost our garden. We lost pretty much everything. But that's Montana. All right, let's move on. Look at that, right by the creek here. We started pulling out. Well, let me come around this way. We started pulling out all kinds of dishes. Joy, show them that dish and strainer.
Here's a rib bone they were chewing on. There's a strainer with the handle and a plate. And it goes like so, which is so very cool, huh? I whacked the plate, which kind of makes me mad, but. Anywho, coming around here, I just got a 22 signal. Look at that beauty. I think that's a button. I'm almost positive it's iron back and the back's gone. Um, yeah, I would say it is. I'll clean it up and we'll get some pictures, but ha, love it. We got 10 more minutes. Look at this absolute butte. The top comes off. See the, it's real fancy. Lantern top. There we go, there's where the wick come up. Very neat. I got quite a collection of these bad boys. Cool. So we're back at the doll face site today. And I got Charles with me. Look at he just popped. That's a junk. That's a color stud. How cool is that? Hopefully it's got something on it. It's kind of fried jelly. Yep. Very cool. Not a bad way to start the day. No, beautiful. We just got here. It's gonna be a good one. Hang on. Well, I'm kind of moseying around, headed back down the hill. Look at this beautiful thing. That is exactly how that is made. It's, I guess they call it a fireman's ax. I don't know. I'm sure they used it to grab logs and help pull. Um, how neat, huh? That thing is beautiful. Wow. That's going home. I'm going to repurpose that bad boy. <laughs> so cool. All right. Well, I'm working down towards the creek. The cabin's off to my left here. Look at this beauty. It's perfect. Boy, does that go back in time or what? Wow, that is so cool. Very neat. All righty. Heading down through this field. Oh, I got a dandy. You know what that is? That is a hoop earring. It weighs nothing. It's rolled copper. I found one of these before that was in way worse shape. Um, this is, <clears throat> as far as I researched, they were made by the Modoc Indians in South Dakota. And they were a trade item. 
Um, this is very old. We're talking eight, 1860s, 1870s. How neat is that? Big old hoop earring. Sweet! Okay. If you can see that, I think I just got another carved bullet. It looks definitely carved to me. What do you think? They have a chest set down here. <laughs> it's kind of cool. All right, moving on. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but that's an old cabin right there, too. It's yeah. kind of hidden in here. But I just popped a uh, button. It's an old overall button. Be able to look that up and see what that comes out to be. Cool, huh? You might be able to read it. I can't. Sweet. Moving on. So, check this out. I went in for this nasty signal. Got a piece of glass. Oh, yeah. It's an inkwell. It says Chicago on it. It's got the maker in Chicago, and it's perfect. How sweet is that? Unreal. Wow. Charles has got something going over here. Rusty junk. Rusty junk, he says. Alrighty, I'll get a good picture of this and move on. Find something else. This is just amazing. Well, you can see there's the old wood stove. I was just swinging in through here and got a spoon. Boy, they had some... Well, I guess that fork I found was beautiful. But most of the utensils are pretty cheap. Little iron spoon. Let's see what else is in here. I had to get that on film. Tree growing out of it. Look at the size of that stump. We just fell onto another cabin. I don't know how many is in here. I'm guessing 12, 14. I don't know. There's stuff here. I just had to show you that though. It's so cool. Well, this is kind of different. Anybody know what that is? It's a curry comb. Grooming horses. <laughs> wow. I'll get that cleaned up and take a picture of it. You can see the teeth on it right there. Never found one like this before. It's even got a little of the wood left on the handle. Pretty cool. Sweet. Let me get her cleaned up. Hello, everyone. Well, we ran up for a couple hours at the Dollface home site. Look at this. 
it's got two spikes on a chain. I think they sank them into the logs and then hooked on here and pulled them out. Never seen anything like it. How cool is that? It's real bright right here. I hope you can see that, but wow, that's a keeper. All right, moving on. Okay. Um, a few days ago, I was at this hidden cabin. I came right through here. Right there's where I dug that overall button. I got a uh, shell casing signal. And I just found an old pipe. Here's the end. It was wood in the middle. That is just like the neatest thing. Um unreal so picture a piece of wood in there and he was putting his little i found a tobacco tin down here too so you know he was taking a hit of some tobacco this is very old this is very cool um both pieces i'll probably take a piece of cherry wood or something and put this back together just so it's not two pieces and people get the look of how it used to be but it can definitely be repurposed there's no doubt about that wow huh Woo! just love it okay perfect we'll get a picture Well, I just found something here. I couldn't tell you. Teapot top. Look at the fancy on that. But it's got that and a wire. Huh. It's very cool, whatever it is. I don't. Can you see the image on there? Is it just flowers or. I don't know that's cool though it almost looks like they adapted it for something else but that's a definitely a cool old copper lid pretty fancy yeah there's a flower right there wow how cool and then I dug this thank you dear and it's got a keyhole in it, so maybe a skeleton key around here, a little tiny one or something. I don't know what it was off of. But, uh, oh, this is a fun spot. You never know what you're going to find right here. All right, let's find some goodies. So I'm just kind of coming up from the creek. That little cabin's behind me. I just dug this. I don't have a clue, but I do have a clue on this. Look at that beauty. Miller, that'll be a cool one for the collection. I wish these were whole, but you know, you can't ask for a whole lot for a 150 year old lock. This one's pretty cool, brass. Sweet, huh? Great shape, huh? All right, I'll get a picture. Well, hello. We hiked into, yes, another homestead or two. Um, I just landed this, which is very cool. These are a 
clasp that hold up your Levi's. And I saw this on another video. I thought this was bent on the first one I found a couple years ago. Um, it's not. It hooks on the jeans somehow and then to a butt. I'm not exactly sure how it, it works, to be honest with you. There's two holes right there. Um, I'll do some research on that. But anyway, that's a cool find. This is a logger's camp. There's no doubt about it. You'll see that here in a minute. <laughs> All right, moving on. Okay, everyone. Um, as you can tell, this is a logger's camp. I got one, two, three, a broken one down there, three broken wedges. Look at that beauty. That that's by far the find of the day. I absolutely love it. Um I found this. It's solid lead and it looks like they cooked it on the wood stove and we're trying to cut it. Um pretty interesting. This right here weighs four pounds plus. Very interesting. Um, I want to jump in here and say that all the detectors say dig every signal. And I had two, well, here's an example here. I was tired of digging ax heads and then come out with this beauty. There's one. The other one I got a 42 signal, which is I dug eight shell casings and it turned out to be a pipe you'll see in this video. Um, and then there's one more. I was getting tin out of the ground and I found that inkwell. Well, L.H. Thomas was a Union doctor in the Civil War. And he was frustrated with all the soldiers not having ink or anything to write with. And after the Civil War, he opened up an ink shop in Rogers Park, Chicago. And the interesting thing about this inkwell, it says 1871, I believe, on it. It might be a little earlier than that. But the first four years of making the ink, all his bottles were rolled paper with a coating on them. And he had an image of a black cat which was his logo well it goes on to say he sold all over europe four other ink companies hopped in rogers park and he outlasted all of them but just picture how that ended up here in montana a glass ink well not broken from the 1870s by digging it all is all i'm saying uh, the history of it is is just amazing and that's why we're here even though it was just logging today um that's okay it was fun we found a new spot with some new buildings and and i'm kind of rambling so i'm going to cut this short um this is going to end this episode i think it's seven and uh who knows if the weather holds we're looking at the end of september right now so if the weather holds, we'll get out a few more times and maybe get another one out. Um, anyway, that's going to do it. I want to thank you all for watching. Wish my brother John a happy birthday. And uh, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching.